Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dylan and I run the channel Tennis with Dylan. Today I'm going to be talking about the different color balls in the game of tennis and why it can be beneficial to you. Here in the UK, we follow the Lawn Tennis Association, which is British Tennis. And we go through a system where we have different color balls for different ages. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit further shortly. The goal in British Tennis is to work through the different stages of the ball. As you can see, it starts from the sponge, goes on to red, orange, green, and then to the yellow ball. This is very beneficial in helping with the junior development and I'll explain why. The various different colored tennis balls follow a traffic light system. In England, we start with a sponge ball or a red ball. Here with the sponge ball, this is very soft and squidgy and it's great for indoor tennis and it's great for generating high quality rallies with good consistency. Junior players will play with a red ball from the age of eight years old and under and this is 75% slower than a yellow ball. The next ball is the orange ball and this ball is 50% slower than a yellow tennis ball and kids between the age of eight to nine year olds will use this type of ball. The following ball is a green tennis ball and it's 25% slower than a yellow tennis ball. Kids from the age of nine to 10 year olds will use this type of ball. And finally, the yellow tennis ball where kids are above the age of 10 years old and sometimes you can be a little bit younger when using the ball as well. This ball is the professional tennis ball that players on the tour will be using. I've also got some tennis lines here which I'm gonna map out the tennis court to show you how big the surface area of the courts are depending on the different types of ball. Back when I used to play the juniors here in the UK, I skipped the various different color balls as they were not a big thing back when I first started. I went straight to the yellow ball and I'm gonna give you some of my pros and cons of using the different color balls when starting out. Just a little reminder, I'm gonna play a clip of Emma Raducanu and Sunny Cartel and they were playing with an orange ball at the age of nine years old. And you can see by this video, the high quality level of trading. You can tell by the way that they're moving around the court. They have all the different shots in their arsenal and they're already ready to showcase their tennis on a small court, just like as though they would on a bigger court. I found it very fascinating to see them playing on a small size court with an orange ball. And this video went viral all around the world, just showcasing the benefits of using a colored ball still at a young junior age. There are other countries that don't use the colored balls as often, but I found it to be very beneficial. Countries such as Spain tend to go on to the yellow ball quicker. They also play on clay courts, so therefore their movement is developed slightly differently. And I feel that moving on clay from a younger age is actually more beneficial, but I'll save that for another video to come. Personally, what I found is one of the most beneficial balls to play with is the orange ball. And this is because the court is like a small version of a bigger court. Therefore, you're able to structure the points just like how you would if you were from the baseline and a little bit older and stronger. I found one of the biggest pros to this is that the balls bounce slower. So if the ball is bouncing slower, you have more time to prepare for your shots and therefore align yourself before actually striking on the ball. The second pro is that the ball is also slightly lighter, so it puts less pressure on your joints and your body. So in terms of the actual weight of the ball, the ball is slightly smaller than what it would be of a yellow ball, but therefore that you're able to get more feel and bite off the ball as it does not kick up so much. If the ball is bouncing a lot higher, you tend to find a lot of players will be hitting the ball up above their shoulder. And what happens when players hit above their shoulder is that their grip starts to slide around to counter that ball. If you had an Eastern forehand grip and you were trying to hit those higher balls, you can see that my wrist is in a locked position whereas players tend to move their hand further around, therefore trying to get on top of that ball. So if players were to play with balls going a little bit lower around waist to shoulder height, you can see that my contact point can still stay further out in front of my body and I'm still having my grip more of an Eastern semi-Western type of grip. Whereas if the ball is bouncing always above my head and I'm a young seven year old playing with a hard green or yellow ball, my grip's gonna move around. Therefore the elbow's gonna start tucking into the body and it's gonna be a lot harder to deal with those higher balls. Hopefully improving the technique of junior players. I find that the British system, personally myself, we do focus a lot on technique. And I think that is a very good thing when starting the structure of when you're juniors. But I think that in terms of progression wise, I would find a balance of technical and more match play as other countries such as Spain, Germany, France, Italy, they all have a lot more of a bigger system where they get a lot more matches on the weekends and matches during the week against various different levels. I've also found that players can play against people of similar abilities. So you could have a 10 year old playing with a full grown adult 
and that is possible. Another thing just to mention is that it's subject to the weather as well. Here in England, we're not always used to having the perfect sunshine. So we tend to play a lot of indoor tennis and playing outdoor tennis is great and beneficial because you're getting used to the external factors. So actually playing with these different types of balls, since they're a bit lighter, they're more likely to blow around and gust around in the wind. So it can be a little bit harder to play with these balls outside as well. As you'll notice with a sponge ball, it's kind of impossible. So we'll stick to sponge ball for the inside indoor tennis. The last pro of playing with the various different colored balls is that you're more likely to get longer rallies. And this can be very beneficial for adults too, because if the ball is bouncing slower, therefore the adult has more time and preparation ready to swing. And having more rallies gives you more confidence and more contact time with the ball, therefore boosting your own tennis game. The only real con that I have of playing with these different color balls is that if you stick on the balls for too long and you get used to these types of balls, it can lower your game level in terms of progression for, for the future. I would say try to stick with these balls until you grasp the foundations and basics before then pursuing onto the next color balls. So you ideally want to go at your own speed and where your coach believes that you can use these balls to your best of your abilities. But after that, I find that you should try to progress through the balls as quick as you can possibly do within reason. When I coach a lot of my players, sometimes I will degress and go back to some other different color balls. So I've always gone from like a green ball back down to an orange ball sometimes when we're working on technical things or if a player is struggling as well. Like let's say if they're struggling with injuries, I might go on a slower ball just to give them a little bit more feel and time and so that it reduces the impact as well. Finally, Emma Raducanu has come back recently from an injury where you can see her using a foam ball. When using the foam ball, this is very good for getting a little bit of control over your shots and developing a little bit more consistency. So it's also a great way to build up that confidence. So I highly recommend just trying out a sponge ball and giving it a go for yourself. It's a lot of fun too. I have seen online that touch tennis is very popular and they do use a foam ball, slightly harder though, but their court is pretty small as well. And I really like the idea as well. It gets a lot of people involved. They get longer rallies too. And there's other sports that are picking up too, such as pickleball and paddle. I mean, these sports have been around for a little while as well. I personally have played them a little bit, but I'm looking to get involved more as it's more accessible to more different ages and abilities. I'm gonna show you a little bit of rallying with the various different color balls and let me know what you think. Also, be sure to subscribe. It really helps my channel to grow so I can make more tennis content that you guys may enjoy and like. So now it's time to rally with the red ball. As you can see, when hitting with the red ball, the ball bounces 75% slower. It's kind of a nice, slow, comforting feeling. You're not trying to hit the ball too hard. And as you can see, the ball rises quite high. I can definitely tell for someone that is under the age of eight years old that they will benefit a lot from a ball like this. And I would highly recommend if you have kids that are under the age of eight years old or if you want somebody just to get a little bit more rhythm and timing as an adult, it's perfectly fine as well to use different color balls. As you can see from the layout of the court, the lines are just inside of the baseline as well as in the tram lines. It's like a, it's basically like a service box court size. The key is when playing with the Red Bull is to just get a little bit of maneuverability around the court. You're able to work on developing different spins such as your top spin, your slice, and even volleys as well. Now it's time for the orange ball. 89 year olds use this type of ball and it's 50% slower than the yellow ball. This is one of my favorite balls to practice with as it kind of emulates what a full size court would be like. So you're able to do every single shot in the book of the game just on a smaller size court. I find this can be great for adults too as if you look at the way of the layout of the court is, you can see that it's like a smaller version of what a yellow court would be like. So if you were to keep the balls within the radius of the court surface area, you're more likely to have better margins and be a bit more safer when playing. The orange ball in particular is one of my more favorite types of balls to rally with. I find that this ball doesn't bounce too fast. It gives you a lot of good contact time and you're also able to develop certain spins on the ball that you may not be able to do so much with a Red Bull because the court's a little bit smaller. So this is why I probably find that the orange ball is one of my most favorite types of colored balls. 
Also with the various color balls, it helps you to really put in the groundwork when working on your technical aspects of your game. You feeling that you can have time to set up and align your swings more efficiently. Now it's time for the green ball. This ball is 25% slower than a yellow ball and this is for players between the ages of around 9 to 10 years old. I personally find that playing with the green ball you don't need to play on this ball that long just due to the fact that there's not too much of a difference between this ball and a yellow ball. I still think it can be beneficial when playing tournaments for the young juniors. The ball is just going a little bit slower speed the junior is also having enough time to prepare in between each and every shot and it's just going at a little bit slower speeds too. And finally we're back on to the yellow ball. I highly recommend trialing through the different color ball are a beginner or someone that's struggling to deal with the higher bouncing yellow balls then give those other balls a go or if you're also having a injury let's say in your elbow or shoulder you're struggling to deal with the weight of a yellow ball then give those color balls a go too let's have some fun striking with the yellow balls now Thank you guys for watching my video on the different color tennis balls that we use here in the UK. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below, so please let me know. And as always, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Take care guys, and I hope to see you in future videos to come.